So now we moving on to vasopressors. Vasopressors. There are two that we use. There are two types that are used. There is a phenyl ephrin. Phenyl ephrin. And then there is a ephedrine. Is ephedrine. So the mechanism of action of these two drugs is to increase the blood pressure because you've got hypotension, so you want to increase the blood pressure. So what how do they do that? They are alpha one stimulators so they are agonist they are alpha 1 agonist so they stimulate those alpha 1 receptors so remember your adrenergic receptors you've got alpha 1, alpha 2, beta 1, beta 2 Alpha 1 is found in the arteries and um, beta, the ones of interest, beta 1 is, beta 2 is found in the bronchioles and then beta 1 is found in the heart. So, phenylephrine stimulates alpha 1 and beta 2, I mean and beta 1, sorry. And then ephedrine is mainly alpha 1. We're going to talk about, because there is, um, there is direct and indirect stimulation there. Direct and indirect stimulation that ephedrine does there. So yeah, so, um, so it's alpha 1, not alpha 2, but alpha 1. Um, but then, Phenylephrine is extra because it also stimulates beta 1, which is in the heart. Okay, now, when you, okay, with ephedrine, ephedrine can directly stimulate alpha 1 receptors and also it can indirectly stimulate alpha 1 receptors by, um, Stimulating the release of no epinephrine. No epinephrine. Endogenous no epinephrine. So, ephedrine comes in, stimulates the release of endogenous no epinephrine. And that norepinephrine is the one that goes now and stimulates the alpha 1 receptors and then you get a high blood pressure. This is why when you've got um, a persistent a persistent hypotension, you keep giving ephedrine, you keep giving it, keep giving it. It gets to a point whereby there's no effect because, because it depends on the availability of the epinephrine. So if if the epinephrine is depleted, it's finished. Even if you keep giving ephedrine, you won't, there won't be any effect because the indirect stimulation by the epinephrine, by no, no epinephrine is not gonna happen because there's no, uh, no epinephrine, which means now you have got to go to adrenaline. Anyway, uh, on this other side, we've got Phenylephrine. So phenylephrine does um, agonize alpha 1 receptors and also beta blockers. <laughs> Not beta blockers, beta 1 receptors. Sorry, guy. So, which means now it can increase the. So, it means now it can increase the. The BP 
and also has got the effects the effect on the contractility of the heart because of those beta 1 receptors contractility of the heart so it doesn't only increase the blood pressure by stimulating the alpha 1 receptors but also the contractility of the heart itself right um Um, remember guys when they say a drug has got a chronotropic effect they mean that that drug increases heart rate when they say a drug has got inotropic effect they mean that that um that drug has got an ability to increase conductility so phenylephrine has got both inotropic and and the chrono, um, chronotropic effects unlike ephedrine which only has chronotropic effects inotropes chronotropes okay now the bending question is when you've got hypotension how do you decide whether you're gonna use phenylephrine or ephedrine for exams if this question is a very high yield question it's gonna come guys it's gonna come it's gonna come they will ask they will ask they will ask they will ask they will even ask how do you mix uh how do you dilute adrenaline how do you dilute phenylephrine how do you download uh, dilute uh, ephedrine we are going to talk about those on another video so what i'm saying is you've got hypotension a patient has received a spinal now you've got hypotension now you've got two drugs that you have prepared you have prepared You've got phenylephrine and you've got ephedrine. When do you decide to use which drug? So, phenylephrine is known to have a side effect of bradycardia. It causes bradycardia. Now, which means that when you've got hypotension plus a decreased heart rate and you give phenylephrine, you will increase your BP good, but you will further decrease your heart rate. You don't want this. So you will worsen the bradycardia this is very important guys they will ask this even when you are an intern so you will worsen the bradycardia and you're not gonna say i'm not gonna give any drug because of this your option is ephedrine so what you give when you've got a decrease a decreased blood pressure plus a decreased heart rate you give ephedrine because ephedrine will increase your your your, your blood pressure plus your heart rate right so ephedrine you've got a decreased blood pressure plus and increase the um, heart rate if you've got a decreased blood pressure and increased heart rate you give ephedrine you will increase the blood pressure but further increase the heart rate as well 
So you you loosen the tachycardia. So what do you do? Give final refrain. I'm gonna repeat this again. You have hypotension, but so which means now when you when you've got hypotension, look at what the heart rate is doing before you decide which drug you're gonna give. So in the event where you've got hypotension with a decreased heart rate, don't give phenylephrine. Give ephedrine because if you give phenylephrine on top of a or or of an existing bradycardia, the bradycardia is gonna is gonna worsen. So go to the other side and give ephedrine. The opposite applies. If you've got hypotension with a high uh, heart rate, a tachycardia, if you give uh, ephedrine, this is gonna go up again. It's gonna worsen. So come this side. Because if you've got a high uh, tachycardia and then you give phenylephrine, the bradycardia, which is a side effect of Phenylephrine will drop that heart rate. So that's it, guys.